Hey guys, Scott here. We're gonna do a little extra video where I'm gonna rant a little bit. So if you don't wanna hear me ranting, it's not gonna be a too bad one, but you know, feel free to pass on, hit that like and stuff, but uh, you don't have to listen to this. I do, before I rant, I do wanna say, I just had some coffee and then realized there's a beetle floating around in my coffee. I'm not particularly happy about that. That's uh, that's the way it's been. Okay, so I just got back from the grocery store and while I was there, I got, I get a lot of these, right? I get a lot of these posts where someone comes on and says, um, because Nicaragua, uh, so either someone will tell me, I get quite a lot of these, um, that because I've disclosed some information that is a requirement for residency, for the residency visa, residencia, uh, that a lot of, that people aren't going to come to Nicaragua. Okay, so I'm not quite sure what to do with that, right? So do, the, are they angry with me because I'm honest? Are they angry with me because I've filled them in on something that they feel is the most important thing? Like people are getting really upset about this, but shouldn't they be really thankful if this is something so important to them that I let them know about it? Um, it doesn't make sense to be angry at the messenger if it was a message you really needed. So that's really odd that I'm getting so much of this, which of course, I, I don't think any of these people are being honest. I think it's all made up, right? I also find it very odd. So this has to do with the vaccination requirement. There is a vaccination requirement that we're told, and I've had to get it myself, but it's not for living in Nicaragua. All the people respond with, well, I won't move to Nicaragua because of this requirement. But the requirement doesn't relate directly to moving. That's a separate thing. So you don't need it to move. You need it for this extra visa that only a few people want. I mean, a lot of people, but most of the people who want it don't actually want it. I have so many videos about why you don't want this, why that's a myth. Like, I, I don't know, 20 at least, plus we mention it every live stream, every little thing. So there's so much material, so much more material about why that's not true than this. So when people are glomming onto this in almost all cases, right, I, I can understand. Like, so I totally want to say, right, I understand that there's a large number of people who really don't like the idea of vaccines. I get that. And I get, and there's a lot of people who dislike it, but are like kind of okay with it. Like there's a lot of spectrum and that's all fine. It doesn't matter where you are in that spectrum, loving vaccines, hating vaccines, None of those, no matter where you fall, um, if you, one, find out what the requirements are and how they apply to you, that's only a positive, right? So there's no possibility that giving actual information should ever invoke a negative response towards me, right? That doesn't make any sense because there should always be thankful. It doesn't matter where you fall. And uh, there shouldn't be this response, no matter how far, you could be as far against vaccines as is humanly possible to be, and that it's not a requirement for moving should not make you upset, right? And since nobody, literally nobody, should be concerned about the residencia visa um, until you've lived here and know a whole bunch of things and then, and then you just decide if that makes sense for you. And part of that decision, this is really important, part of the decision of whether or not you want to get residencia is based on, at this current time, how you feel about vaccines. That's pretty straightforward, right? It's just part of the decision matrix. There's a lot of other things that go with the residencia that are also really big, um, such as you have to be in the country a certain amount of the, the year. Like you can't just, you can't have residencia and then not reside here, which almost all the people who are saying they won't move it, like they also accidentally include that or something. And then tonight, so I get a lot of these where it's like really belligerent. And then a lot of people say, this isn't true. You have to prove it. So there's a couple things being missed here. One is it's not my job to prove. Like, first of all, I provided my references. You can double check me and I did all that, right? But two, beyond that, it's not my job to prove this. It's if you don't want to believe me, feel free not to believe me. If you want to, you know, do your homework and go get information to the contrary, go feel free to do that, right? No one has done so. I have lots of people who've presented unrelated information and presented it in a tone to make it sound like, uh, and I don't know why everyone's so passionate about this, um, but they present it in a tone as if they are saying it's not a requirement, but no one is ever actually willing to state that it's not a requirement. They, no one has put their own name behind saying it's not a requirement, nor has anyone put the name of a lawyer who says it's not a requirement, and no one has put the name of an authority figure who says it's not a requirement. Some people say, I heard this person or somebody who is definitely not able to make this claim told me, right? But that's not disputing it. That's like, you know, I went to the grocery store and they told, told me that uh, World War III had broken out, 
right? Well, it didn't, and the person at the grocery store doesn't get to just make that up, right? They don't determine what is and what isn't World War III, right? It's a random person saying a random thing, and that's there has been those claims, but what does that mean? Why, why even bring that up unless you're hoping people mistake that information for something else, which is, of course, what they're doing, right? They're trying to trick people into letting the people who read the comment fill in the gaps and go, well, they said it. That person must be an authority, right? But those people are explicitly not an authority, and there's nothing to say it's a real person, right? Every time the person is, it's always an anonymous account with no identity whatsoever and always referencing a person that they won't put a name on, always, right? Because anyone who put their name on this would be in super trouble, right? Because that's that it, they know they would be in trouble. The fact that so many people are posting this anonymously and making these double anonymous claims is a super, super amount of verification that they believe that there's groups that know it's true but are trying to discredit it for whatever reason. Probably see my video about lawyers selling forged documents. That would be a sensible place, right? There's a whole bunch of stirring up fear, uncertainty, and doubt, and then... There are obviously industries in Nicaragua that prey on that. That has been uh, any anytime you have a group of expats, they are easily misled. There you go. So tonight I got this one. This is slightly different, right? But it's constantly a, do you know how many people aren't going to move because of this? I was considering moving. I won't consider because of this. So first of all, that you that you made something up and got it wrong and won't move because of that, that's not my problem. Two, that you don't want to move here because you're crazy, also not my problem. Like, in fact, this may come as a shock to all of you, but every time a crazy person, and I'm not saying not liking vaccine is crazy, I'm saying having whatever kind of reaction to something that didn't happen is crazy, right? Saying, oh, well, there's this requirement. Yes, but that requirement doesn't apply to you. This requirement, it doesn't exist in this context. And I also want to say that... Uh, uh, for those who feel that they do probably want residency at some point, residencia, the, the full permanent residencia, which is extremely rare, that the process to get that takes normally quite a long time. You can rush it. You can go through effort to try to get it faster, but generally it takes quite a long time or can take quite a long time. And so for the majority of people, we believe very, very likely that any requirements that exist today won't exist by the time this applies to the people who are looking into it today. So if you're looking into this today, the fact that this requirement exists now has no reason to suggest it'll exist by the time it applies to you, if it would even apply to you today, if ever. So that people are looking at this and going, oh, in three years, when I finally maybe make the move and do all this stuff and get to a point and then decide I, just, I actually want residencia and it's really important to me, the chances that something from three years ago will apply now because it'll be six year old by then. Like seriously, what are people thinking? Obviously it's very dishonest to take that, to have that reaction to it. Like no one is reacting that way who actually was considering Nicaragua. The two can't go together. And it's also worth noting that, you know, my channel is full of these great people who are considering moving to Nicaragua, interested in Nicaragua, find the channel interesting, whatever. Like we have a great span of things, but a lot of people participate, right? A lot of people. And you're all fantastic. We love my community. Um, every single person who's posted a negative thing about this is a person who's never posted before. This tells us a lot, right? It's not like a few sprinkled in. That could happen. But every single one who's having this negative reaction, I won't move because of this. Everyone won't move because of this. This person told me that, you know, make something up, right? They're all new people who are posting just on this topic, never been posting before. That tells us a lot, right? That these are probably bot accounts or they're people who are trolling. They were searching on this information, found someone mentioned something. They don't look into anything and they're just posting nasty things to try to make it seem angry, seem negative, like some bad things happen. I don't know what their end goal is because it's crazy. But if you're reading any of these, take some of this into account. You'll see a lot of these in the forums. And some of this is explaining like how I deal with troll comments and stuff. But so... <laughs> Obviously, no honest person looking at moving to a new country is actually going to just casually hear this thing um, and then change their entire life plan based on it. They're at least going to look into it and see what's going on, see if it applies to them, see what it actually means, realize this doesn't this isn't what they are imagining it is, whatever. Plus, half the people are posting that there's all these resources claiming that this isn't true. Well, okay, if you believe those resources, why are you telling me? 
right? What, what's the point of coming to me? First of all, I know I have firsthand information. You're not going to convince me that someone lied to you and that you believe them, right? You're not going to trick me. That makes no sense. So they're obviously posting, hoping that you guys read their comments, which is weird because who reads all the comments, um, and that you'll be confused by them making a claim that all these people, sure, all these people, show me one of these people. No one has ever showed me one of these people, right? Not one. There is no person who's put their name on that this isn't true, uh, except for one person that I have on encrypted mail also saying that they would forge documents for someone, uh, literally offering to commit a crime. Actually, they claimed they had already committed the crime um, and expected their, their hush money uh, for it. Right, like that's the one time that we have something, uh, and so we do have that person's name, and we could turn them over to the authorities, but we're we're holding off on that, right? But we would like to. We're waiting for the person who who gave us that information to give us the all all go, to turn them over to the authorities. Um, but uh, so obviously, this stuff like it doesn't make any sense, right? They're telling me that their claim basically is that they're really dishonest, crazy people. And that uh, they're just really angry at society, um, and and they don't want to come to Nicaragua because of something they didn't understand. Well, as someone who lives in Nicaragua, it's hard for you to make a better case for me not wanting you to come here. I'm sure Nicaragua doesn't want you to come here. I know none of my neighbors want you to come here. If you're going to be a belligerent person who doesn't take the time to just, you know, understand the country they're moving to or look into what was that and just reacts negatively and angrily like that, definitely you're not going to be good for Nicaragua. We don't want you. Stay where you are. That's fantastic news. So I, this whole process is great. But tonight I got a slightly different one. So I just wanted to, so this guy, Rastaman, I was going to make the move to Nicaragua and get residency until they mandated the safe and effective jab. Right. So clearly we have so many videos, right? You don't move and get residency. You have to know Nicaragua. So I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. That's li I said, this is literally insane. And it literally is insane to change your country of, of residence, to change the place you reside based on one video from a guy you like to argue with, um, who you don't believe all the videos he made about how to move to the country, but you do believe this one. Uh, it's, it, they're all believable, but he cherry-picked one to believe and all the rest to ignore, and then is going to change his entire life plan, supposedly, based on this. Obviously, we're just going to go with this is completely dishonest. Obviously, he's just making this up. It's a troll, but let's just play the game. So obviously, that's insane. I said, wow, you did no research. We're going to move to a new country and now changing your mind based on not understanding a, a video. You didn't even watch my video because my video is very clear. This is for a special visa and not for moving to Nicaragua. I said, that's literally insane. And I said, as this information is all from residency scammers, right? Um, if, you, if you watch uh, Near Shore Living uh, channel on YouTube, great stuff. He talks about all the people scamming people or selling uh, illegitimate, or not not that the, the passports are illegitimate, but they push the idea of residency and passports as if they were giving you advisory services, when in fact they're just selling their services. And so they'll tell you what you want to hear to get you to buy these services. But what they don't tell you is that those passports and residency don't do the things that you were, you were trying to get. So the trick is convincing you that you need these things. Then they, in most cases, honestly get them for you, but okay. So I just point out that he got scammed by residency scammers because if he didn't, he wouldn't have wanted residency in this context. He wouldn't have said that. You don't move and want residency. You move and find out if someday you want residency. That's the process. You do not, there's nothing about residency that you want before you get here. It doesn't logically make sense. In Nicaragua, in other countries, maybe. Like there's Mexico, there's great reasons to get residency when you haven't even been there yet. That's fantastic. But in Nicaragua, it's the opposite. You only could possibly want residencia after you've been here and for a while, and even then, extremely unlikely. Now, of course, there's a lot of misunderstandings around these things, so we understand. And like last night on the live stream, which fantastic live stream, uh, someone was asking about residency, and they had some negatives about the residency. They're like, oh, that's not really something I like. And we're like, it, and then they said, well, they really wanted to have their plan B flags planted all over, which is the thing that people say. And I get that there's a ton of people exactly who Nearshore Living is talking about, these scammers who are trying to sell these plan Bs um, by getting people to think there's, one, something to be afraid of more than there actually is, and then, two, to act as though 
residency in other countries somehow protects them, which it does not. So there's this a two two prong approach to tricking people, and it's really effective, and it's become a big thing. And in the space that we're in, providing advice for this, we get a lot of people who've been played in this way, and they get told this information by people who are trying to sell all these alternative things that generally don't make sense. And one of the big ones is selling residency as if it's passports. Passports alone don't make very much sense in most cases, but they can. But residency in multiple places makes no sense because it doesn't guarantee you anything. It doesn't give you any special rights internationally. Um, So he freaks out. He's like, I did watch your video. Well, clearly not the right one because if he did, he wouldn't have said the things he did, right? So making the claim that he watched the video is either he didn't watch it or he doesn't understand the the material. Um, You should try not to be so condescending. Well, you should try not to be insane, dude. If you're insane, it's not condescending for me to point it out. Uh, So I point out that the residency is not what he thinks it is, blah, blah, blah. I provide him like 20 videos. And then he's like, oh, man, you ramble on sometimes. Um, Sure, because you aren't understanding it when I say it the first time. So I've got to keep saying it over and over, explaining it in many, many ways, because so many people are missing this, right? That's why I ramble on. Um, I mean, also, I'm rambly, but but seriously, I find that I say this 20 different ways, and immediately people come back with, oh, but you didn't mean this, the thing I said 20 times. Like, seriously, no, I did. That's why I repeated it in so many different ways. Um, He says, I've been there several times, planning on moving, in capital letters, there from my home country, doesn't say what home country that is, of course, to reside there. Okay. So he's planning on moving. He's been here, so he knows he doesn't need residencia. So he should, that should alone. He doesn't need my videos. He should know he doesn't need it. I know the residencia requirements and considered Nicaragua because I really enjoyed it. And I would have liked to have added the passport to my portfolio. Really? Your passport portfolio? Is that a thing? Because people don't have passport portfolios in real life. Super ultra rich people who can just buy passports? Yeah, once in a while. Some people have two passports, right? But having a passport portfolio? Really, let's think about that. It takes a lot of time and money and effort to get passports. And in Nicaragua, we've been pretty clear on this channel and pretty much every resource in the universe that you can't get a passport here, nor do you really want one. But (laughs) if you were able to get it, because first of all, if you get a passport here, right, you have to give up your other passports. That's a rule. So that doesn't make any sense. So if you're in a plan B planting lots of flags things, this passport is a really dangerous one to try to get. If you were to get it, um, I know someone who got it. It took him 38 years in a presidential order to be able to get it. And there are few people more likely to get it than him. There's only one or two people who get a passport per year. This is an incredibly rare thing in Nicaragua. Um, And partially because so few people want it, but also because Nicaragua is very stingy in giving them out. It's just not a thing that they throw around. They don't banter about passports. So the, and you don't get it by getting residency. Like it's a much bigger process than that. So, and he mentions this casually, like I was going to move to Nicaragua because it would just give me this passport. Well, it would take away his portfolio if he did that. So that doesn't make sense. Um, but residency, he, he suddenly threw that in, right? Obviously, that's not part of it. Then he says, I have residency in two other countries in Central America. And once again, again, he says so condescending. He actually comes in dumber than I originally had given him credit for and then still refers to me pointing out how dumb he am is as condescending. I hate to be condescending, but he doesn't seem to know what condescending means. And this is actually a really common thing. If you ever... <laughs> want to say someone's being condescending, be careful because normally people point out that someone's being condescending when they're not. If someone's actually being condescending, you probably won't notice it. The last thing you want to ever do is call out someone on being condescending because chances are if you noticed, it was real, not condescending, right? You can't talk down to someone who's actually being insane. I mean, you could, but you'd have to talk farther down, right? This is, I was giving him credit for being able to understand the material, but he came back with a greater level of misunderstanding, so proving that I couldn't have been condescending. I found this a lot in working in IT. Anytime you treated someone as an equal, they would be angry and say you're condescending because it feels condescending when someone doesn't know the material, but they're expected to. That's the opposite of condescending. That's giving them credit. So that's the risk, right? We saw this all the time. People would say, we're being condescending. I'm like, no, being condescending would be when we treat you like a child and explain every little thing as if somehow you don't understand the material that you're expected to understand. That would be condescending. 
This is treating you as an equal and you getting angry because you can't continue the conversation sensibly. So, yeah. So he's got a bunch of things going on here. So one of the things, if you have residency, let alone a passport, residency in Nicaragua, you have to be here the majority of the time. And most countries are like this, not all, right? But I believe, I haven't done my research, I believe in Central America, most of them require that. So his, I have lots of residencies, probably doesn't make sense. I, I'm sure all of this is fake. But saying he has lots of residencies, first of all, shows how much he doesn't understand. That if he knew anything about Nicaragua, he'd know that it has very unique residency that is nothing like any other country. We talk about this constantly about Nicaragua. So very casual research into residing in Nicaragua should be like, okay, you can't compare their residency to other places. That he points out his residency in other places as if that's to say he would understand residency here demonstrates once again, the degree to which he doesn't understand residency here, making my point over and over again. So it just, I had to rant about this a little bit because it's so crazy. But if you're reading the comments on a regular basis, you're going to come across these all the time. And I want to give you a little bit of background as to why, one, I don't put up with it. Like, I just call them out. They're all being dishonest. That's giving them credit. Or they're insane to decide on what country you're going to move in based on such an extreme degree of not having researched and not understanding what the requirements are, how they would affect you, right? If if these things were correct, he doesn't understand the passport, he doesn't understand the residency, he doesn't understand what it means to move, he doesn't understand the requirements. And even if you did have all those things, does any of it apply to you? Why would you be angry about it? And why take the time to go on to the thread? This is one of the most important things, right? All these people who are doing this, who are being like, no one will move here because you told the truth and let people know. What was the alternative? Let them find out later? Uh, You know, just let them be misled. And like, I didn't change what's going to happen. I just changed that they knew about it and had time to make good decisions, right? Uh, That they can plan or whatever. Like, you, that doesn't make any sense. And why would someone who is reacting in that way, angry, that's not willing to consider, okay, so why are you taking the time to come on and make a post, to say you don't understand anything and that you're angry about it. Like, there's no possibility of me being as condescending as he is to himself by making such a post. So that is my take on that. I wanted to, I just had to get that off my chest. And I know a lot of you guys like to listen um, and appreciate that I go through dealing with this every day. So that is that. Is that. Thanks for listening. I appreciate it. And, uh, you know, Go thumb down some of these people or feel free to be like, this is crazy. Why would you say this? Clearly, you don't understand the material. Did you actually look into the context of this or did you take one thing out of context just to try to rant about something? And why are you upset with Scott for just telling you how it is? If you don't want to believe him, that doesn't, you no reason to be angry. And if you do believe him, you definitely can't be angry with him. You can only be angry with him if you're angry because you found out. Why would you ever be angry about that? I'll see you all next time.